through this lesson we'll be looking at BNU1501 the main topic for today is shapes we'll be looking at May June 2017 question 14 let us start the question that we have is this one this is not the first question that we are looking at under this chapter so basically what I did with the previous questions before we can answer the actual question we go through crash course on how to calculate the volume the area the parameter depending on the question of different types of shapes so we are going to do the very same thing with this question question 14 a container with a length of 40 centimeter a breadth of 30 centimeter and a height of 10 centimeter contains 12 identical cans each with a diameter of 10 centimeter and a length I mean a height of 10 centimeters the remaining space is filled with sand how much sand was required so we have this shape here which has 12 cans we can see 12 cylinders inside this shape and then after filling these cylinders we have these spaces here between the cylinders that is where the sand was poured so we want to know the volume of the sand poured inside these spaces now how can we do that if we can calculate the volume of the whole shape and then find the volume of the cans since they are identical means we can just take uh, one can and calculate its volume and multiply by 12 because they are identical and then we are going to take the whole volume of this diagram minus the volume of the cans it will actually give us the spaces that are left or the volume left because the volume of the cans I can say the total volume which is the volume of the whole system it's equals to the volume of the cans but you can see that the cans don't fill up the spaces of the whole system plus the volume of the spaces the small spaces so if you can find this and find this we can actually calculate this because when you transpose this it will be v total minus v cans it will give us the volume of the small spaces that are left so we need equations what is important is to know the equations So having a rectangular cube, you should know that in order to find the volume of this, you just need to take this side, which is our length, multiply by breadth, multiply by height. And it's LB, BH. That is the volume of this shape. And then the volume of a cylinder we know that the can is cylindrical. What we need, we need the height of the can and we need the, the radius. Then we have two terms. We have mm -hmm. diameter and radius. We know that uh, radius is Two times I mean diameter is two times radius so if we have radius we know that it's half of the diameter then the volume to calculate this is pi r squared height it's basically the area of a circle multiplied by height to give you the volume of a cylinder so we can start by calculating the total and calculate 
the cylinder multiplied by 12 and then we find the difference of the two then we'll be able to find our answer now let us start by calculating our v total we say just quickly looking at that shape it's not accurate it's not drawn to scale so we have 30 centimeters we have 40 centimeters and height is 10 centimeters so we are going to use this equation we simply have 40 multiplied by 80 multiplied by 10 we get 1000 I mean 12,000 centimeter cube since we are calculating the volume so this is the total volume then let us go ahead and find the volume of our single can remember that we need the height and the radius now we are given that the diameter of each can is 10 centimeters so if the diameter is 10 centimeters it means radius is 5 centimeters then we are also given that the height of the cans is 10 centimeters and it makes sense because in terms of height we say the can feeds perfectly inside this so it means the height should be the same as this because after fitting these cans this side here the top part will be level somehow we won't have any excess height of these cans so it is 10 centimeter the height then we can go ahead and calculate the the volume we get that our volume is 250 pi if you're looking for an accurate answer we can use this 250 pi or we can use we'll check which one was actually used three it's actually foot four zero unit So now that we have our volumes, then we can multiply this by 12. We are going to get 3,000. So we have 3,000 pi. Nine thousand four hundred and twenty four point seven six centimeter cube. Now we can just minus so twelve thousand minus three thousand pi should give us one of the options. If we don't get an accurate answer, then we'll use this one the rounded off one. We get two thousand five hundred and seventy five point two two. This is centimeter cube. Now we can see that the options are given in liters. You should know that when we convert from centimeter cube. Two liters we divide by 1000 or we multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 so we take our answer and then we divide it by 1000 we are going to get 2.5 
eight liters. So looking at the options, we have option two. That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SG. Thank you very much.